Or everybody can just say hi from over there. Hello. I can't see you though. You have Hello. to say hi. <laughs> hi. I can't turn it around because of the mat. Hello. Hi guys. Hello. Hello. Can't see you. Yeah, they're all like on the mat going. And it's not there. Anyway, who's excited for camp? Yeah. Who's excited for tacos? Yeah. <laughs> tacos for lunch, guys. All right, let's write some stuff. Who's excited for baby number three? Yeah. <laughs> all right, that's better. Hey guys, I am home from guard. I just made some Bob Evans mac and cheese real quick. Nothing super crazy. The kids really like it, right? See, we really like it. Is it good? Eat your mac and cheese. They had some fruit and blueberries and applesauce and Kaylee's going to town. Oh my goodness, KK, she always makes such a mess with mac and cheese. <laughs> but she really likes it. Um, so that's what I did because I just don't have the motivation or the energy to make something else and we can all eat it. It's easy enough to heat up. There's enough for everybody so I don't have to make myself something separate. It's not necessarily ideally what I wanted to be eating right now, but it is what it is and Kaylee really likes it. So, um, in about an hour I'm gonna have to put him down for a nap. I'm 11 weeks today, so... I need to do my 11 week update. What? Yeah? Okay. Anyway, I'm 11 weeks today, so I have to do my 11 week update. Um, and I just hope that I can like pull myself together. I mean, look at this. I hope I can just pull myself together and get it done. It's not even a week that I really feel like filming. What is your problem? What? What do you want? Your blankie? You want your blankie? Oh my goodness, kid. All right, get her blankie. Here you go. How's that? You gotta get it now, you just dropped it. Pick it up. You can do it. Pick it up. Okay? Anyway, I don't even like, necessarily even feel like filming it because the past like week, the past couple weeks with the anxiety and the depression order disorder or issues are driving me insane. And that's like the only thing I have to report my update so I'm not super excited about it but I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that can relate and I just want my vlogs to be happy and giggly and bubbly and all kinds of stuff and I just like I just feel like a miserable horrible person so that's how that's going I have so much homework I have to do today I've got so much stuff I need to do I feel like crap I have a headache I'm tired it's so hard what do you want to watch you want to watch The Grinch? Do you want to watch it with Grandma? Yeah. Say yeah. You want to watch it with Grandma? Yeah, yeah okay. Well, you got to tell Grandma to come back over. Say, where's Grandma? Yeah. You want to watch The Grinch? Yeah. Okay. I decided that I'm going <coughs> to, oh my gosh, go ahead and make some um, a crock pot. It is sausage and peppers. This is um, something that my dad used to make a lot. And um, I don't eat sausage, but Danny loves sausage. And I really like um, how this turns out. And um, we basically make like a sauce almost and um, put it on pasta or like dip bread in it. So I've got some mild Italian sausage, some five cheese pasta sauce, and then onions and green peppers and that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I do this. The first thing I did is throw a bunch of olive oil in there because guys like olive oil is the bomb and it's good for your heart so throw it in there. Now I've got peppers in there. This was four bell peppers but they were kind of small. They were really small compared to what I like to use so they're just sliced up into little slivers just like that. I usually get ones that are like really really tall so that the slivers are long. What is your deal? You are so messy. Look at you. Are you done eating? You done eating? Do you want more mac and cheese? Because look, your sister didn't even touch hers. Nope, she is watching the Grinch. Right, Maddie? Yeah. Now I've added in onions. I went ahead and cut them up. I did the same thing. I sliced them so that they're in nice, long, thin strips. And now I'm going to add some seasoning and mix them up in the olive oil. All right, I'm adding some salt. I'm, I don't ever really measure anything, so there's that. 
And then I need to add some pepper, which is gonna come out really, really quickly if I'm not careful, okay. Some pepper, and I'm going to add some garlic powder, like so, and mix it around all nice. With the olive oil, get them all coated in the olive oil that was sitting on the bottom of this. I know guys, I could totally be like a chef on TV, right? Screaming kids in the background, great quality video. Perfect, all right, there's that. And I turn it on high for six hours. I'm going to watch it. Um, I usually, if I were to do this in the crock pot, would put it on the low setting for the eight or the 10 hours. Um, but I'm starting really late, it's one o'clock. So I'm starting it late and the kids usually eat around four, 4.30, so I'm just gonna put it on the high for six hours so it doesn't turn off and I'll keep watching it to make sure it's cooking. Now I'm adding in the um, pasta sauce. You can use whatever pasta sauce you guys like. I like Bertoli. I really, really, really dislike ragu and a lot of the other ones that are really super sweet. Um, I like stuff that's more traditionally Italian and ragu is not the one to go with if you like Italian, like actual Italian food. This one's pretty good. Um, I only have the five cheese one. I probably would do like the um, the um, tomato basil one, but this is the only one I have. And so that's what's gonna have to happen. So there's that. I put that in, I'm going to put in a can of water or a jar, like this full jar full of water as well. There's that, and now we're gonna mix it around again. There it is all mixed, and now I'm gonna go ahead and add in my mild Italian sausage. Danny does like spicy Italian sausage as well, but sometimes it makes them a little sick. So I'm going with mild. This is just the Walmart brand. Um, nothing super fancy or anything, but I'm gonna stick them all in here on top. There you have it. It looks just like that, and I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid back on, and we are going to wait for it to be done while my kids scream and throw temper tantrums. All right, so if you feel like you wanna put a little bit more effort into it than that, one thing to do that's really, really good is to um, like fry up the sausages instead so you can put all the vegetables in the crock pot and everything. You can also make, just make them in a pan, which is cool, or you can even bake them if you really wanted to, but um, I just put everything in the crock pot because it's like super easy and convenient when you have two kids and one on the way. What, what do you want? Anyway, like 20 minutes before you're ready to eat, you can kind of like put them in a skillet or in a pan or something and cook them up in some olive oil and then they get nice and kind of crispy, like the outsides get crispy and stuff. Are you a messy girl? And you can do it that way. Um, I do it that way a lot, but today we're just gonna crock pot because we can and it's easy and you don't have to put a lot of effort into it. You just throw everything in and you're good to go. Is it all done? Okay. Is it all done? It's all done. You want to watch it again? Yeah? Maddie, do you want to watch it again? Yeah? Okay. What do you want to watch? What do you want to watch, The Grinch? Oh, these kids need to take their nap so badly. I actually already tried to get them down once and they didn't go. It was just like a scream fest, so I gave up, which isn't really necessarily the best thing to do, but i give them like another half hour because things got a little weird with me being at guard and just having them to be babysitted and the babysat, babysitted, babysat. Um, and the, yeah. What's your sister doing? Hmm? I hear her out there. Um, KK, hi. Um, and then they ended up eating their lunch an hour later. So I'm just gonna give them a little bit more time and see if that helps. What do you think, KK? Is it nap time yet? Kaylee's having another miserable time going down for her nap. I don't know what her problem is recently with these naps. And it's not like I need to readjust her schedule because she's literally been up for like five hours. She needs to take a nap. She usually only makes it two, like even like yesterday, she only made it two hours, but today we're at five hours. I have such a bad headache. I need her to go down for her nap. Maddie's sleeping, so like I need her to go to sleep. I need it so bad. So, 
to get rid of this headache. Guys, this has just been so rough. This whole week has been so rough. I did my, um, my update. Oh, if you see, like, my nose is, like, shiny. I put, like, um, like, the de-stress, like, um, um, essential oils, like, right here. So I can, like, smell them. Um, but anyway, so, like, my nose isn't snotty or anything. I'm not sick, but... Yeah, I just filmed my 11-week pregnancy update, which was rough. If you watch it, it's pretty rough. Um, it's not like a super upbeat positive one, so. But hopefully it'll be able to help somebody here or there, so we'll see. But I'm going to try to put on more of this Nailed It TV show that I watched the other day. And I'm going to, like, eat. I have some bread and butter in front of me. I'm going to eat some bread and butter. And I'm going to lay down and see if I can get rid of this headache. And we'll see. But she needs to go to sleep. I don't know if you guys can hear her. She's driving me nuts with these naps her naps have been so bad i'm gonna go ahead and check on our crock pot dinner that's what it looks like so far i'm gonna mix it around and let it sit for a little bit while i cook up some ziti i'm gonna put the sauce on the pasta um and then danny will come home and eat the sausage and the kids are gonna kaylee will eat it i don't know if maddie will if she doesn't i'll just substitute it with hot dogs she likes hot dogs Well, we broke out the hot dogs. Hmm. We'll see. What do you think, Mads? Mm. Is it good? Yeah. Mommy's pasta is almost done. Fork. Yeah, fork. Good job. What are those? Hot dog. Hot dog. That's right. Kaylee, tomorrow or today for when this vlog is uploaded. December 9th, that is your last day as a baby. Oh, I don't like it, guys. Kaylee is gonna be one years old on Monday. I don't like it. Can you not please stay a baby, KK? I think she's ready to grow up though. She's like ready to be on the move and ready to do big girl things like her sister. She doesn't wanna be stuck as a baby. Look at her go. She ate all of Maddie's food on lunch. Maddie never ate lunch. She just kind of threw it, about, threw it out. So Kaylee ate it and Maddie took a banana back to bed with her and I bet you it's smushed in her bed sheets. I guarantee you any amount of money, there's a banana smushed in Maddie's bed sheets. Is it good, KK? Do you want to try a sausage? Yes. You want to try sausage or ham? You like ham. Do you want ham? Hammy, hammy, hammy. You girls, you girls are too big. I don't like it. Stay babies for forever. So here it is. I just put some cheese on there. Need to mix it up. It's a little bit watery. So I think if I did it in the crock pot like that again, I'd only add like half a can of water um, or let it sit. Like I said, I normally let it go on low for a little bit so it can steam out a little bit more. So like 10 hours instead of four or six. So anyway, there is that. I chopped up some sausage for the girls. They're still working on, oh my gosh, Maddie. They're hot dogs, which now Maddie has some mozzarella cheese and she's trying to eat with a fork. Oh, she's so weird. Is that good, KK? Our kids like cheese, I like cheese. So anyway, there it is. And then I have some bread here. This is like the rolls, just the regular rolls that we put them on, the Kogi rolls and all dip the bread in there and eat it like that because it is so good. In one of my other vlogs about how Kaylee has really been doing a lot better when she's in like a full onesie, specifically fleece. She's gonna come around the corner now. She's in a full onesie, which makes her happy, but it's not fleece. It's just like a cotton one. So I ordered six of them, they're Carter's, six of them online from Amazon. I'm gonna go ahead and open them up and we're gonna take a look and then we'll put her in one. So oh, here are the six. Yeah. A five. Yeah. A five. Yeah. A five. I guess Kaylee's pretty excited about them. <laughs> yeah? What is that? That's a superhero? A superhero. Yeah, superhero. Are you a superhero? Yeah. <laughs> Which one you want, KK? 
I think we should have a poll. And what in the world is Chloe doing? Chloe, get out. Come on. I think we should have a poll. Which one do you guys like best? We'll say one. This is like a little fox. Two. Okay. I see. Yeah, three. Good job. Four. A lie. Yeah, five. Okay, get the last one. And six. <laughs> Good job, Maddie. Can I have a high five? Great job counting. And that was a wimpy high five. All right, so let me know which one you guys like the best. Mm. Mm. I'm not such a big fan of the superhero one, but I like some of the other ones that were in the pack. Two. Yeah, good counting. I kind of think I like Yay. this one. The fox is super cute. I don't know. They're all cute. Like donuts Three. and coffee is like right down my alley. I think Kayla likes all of them. What do you think, KK? Are you excited? Which uh. one do you want? Pick one. Pick one. Oh, okay. You want this one? So oh, here are the six. Yeah. 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 I guess Kaylee's pretty excited about them. <laughs> yeah? What is yeah. I think that was one of the hardest times. Okay, listen, you two are not making me very happy right now. You're not making mommy happy. Kaylee, it just took me like 15 minutes to get that on her. I'm not even kidding. Now you're going to play with your diaper pail. We just cleaned it out. But oh my gosh, she wouldn't stop moving. Now Maddie wants to wear one, and I think this one okay. might be, yeah, that's 24 months. Yeah. She really wants to wear one, and I don't know if I might be able to squeeze her into this 24-month one. We're going to try. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Where is it, Maddie? Um, it, so it fits. It's actually got a little bit of room, which is kind of funny, but I do remember this being really big when I got it. So are you a baby? You can see your diaper right through it. Look at that. That's kind of revealing, kid. All right, KK, let's um, let's not play with the diaper pail and we can just pretend like we did. Okay, let's put it back. Let's put it back. Here we go. Okay, let's go play. One's crawling, one's walking, then they switch. laying in bed now. I have a really bad headache. The kids are kind of sleeping. Maddie keeps getting up, but it's like 8.30. Danny should be home soon. I don't know if you can hear in the background. I've got my thing going, so I don't know. Hopefully it works. I've got the essential oils in that for anxiety relief. Yeah, there's Maddie. This is kind of what it's like every night in this house. She fights so badly. She'll start beating on her door and stuff. I have to like lock it and put one of those like doorknob guards or whatever on it so she can't turn it if she can get it unlocked and all kinds of things. Cause she, she'll get out, she'll get out and then she'll start running through the house and she'll come into our room and wake us up and all kinds of stuff. So I have to like make sure she's contained and that she stays in there, which I don't necessarily like if there's any type of like emergency or anything you have to go like unlock her door and do all this stuff to get in but at the same time it's safer for her to be locked in there versus running around the house at night while everybody else is asleep because that would be really bad so I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here I took some Tylenol I took some of my allergy medication um like stuff that I can take while pregnant I have stuff I can't take while pregnant as well which I'm really, 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 really missing taking that because that stuff makes me be able to breathe and feel better and it stops these sinus headaches that I'm having from happening. But give this video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!